Greetings boys and girls. In today's video, we're going to be looking at division with partial quotients. All right, let's get right into our first problem. In our first problem, we see Dory and she suffers from memory loss every 10 seconds. So we're trying to figure out how many times is she going to forget in 6,320 seconds. So that is a division problem. 6,320 divided by 10. So the first thing I want to do when I get ready to use partial quotients is I want to actually draw my box out. And this is going to be so similar to partial products because you'll recognize this box. I'm going to put 10 on the left side because remember when I'm dividing, I know that my divisor times whatever my answer is, is going to equal my dividend, which is the larger number that we write first in our division problem. So it's like I'm working backwards. So I'm thinking 10 times something is going to equal 6,320. Well, the first thing I want to break out is I want to break out 6,000. Okay? So 10 times what equals 6,000? Well, I see a 6, and then I would just add two zeros to that. So 10 times 600 would equal 6,000. So I know I can pull out a 600 tens. Then I would be left with 6,320 minus 6,000, which is 320. So now I'm thinking to myself, what else can I pull out? Well, I'm seeing 300. I can pull out 300. So 10 times something equals 300. Well, I know I see 3. 10 times 3 equals 30. And then 10 times 30 would be 300. So I can pull out 30 tens as well. So now I'm thinking of 320 minus 300. Well, I have 20 left. Ooh, my 300 doesn't look so good. I have 20 left. Now, 10 times something has to equal 20. Hmm. 10 times 2 equals 20. So then, 2 would be the other part of my quotient. So now, I would be working with 600 plus 30 plus 2. But I'm not going to leave my answer like that. My answer, I'm going to actually put those all together. So 600 plus 30 plus 2, that looks like expanded form. So that would be 632. So that 632 answers the number of times that Dory's going to forget. So I will say 632 times. That will be my final answer. Now I'm going to show you the same problem, just not using the box. Okay? We're going to use something that looks a little bit like the old school approach to long division. So now you can see that I have something that looks like the traditional way that people do long division. But again, I'm going to be doing partial quotients. So just like I did before, when I'm thinking of this number 6,320, I know I can pull 6,000 out. I can subtract that out. And what do I, how do I get to 6,000? Well, that's 10 times 600. Okay? And then I'm going to subtract that out, and I'd be left with 320. And from here, I'm looking, and I know I can pull out 300. Well, what do I have to do to pull out 300? I multiply 10 times 30. So I'm, I've already pulled out 600, and now I've pulled out 30. So now I can subtract that. 320 minus 300 would be 20. So now I'm thinking to myself, I have 20. How many tens is in 20? 10 times what equals 20? Oh, 10 times 2 equals 20. Okay, and so now I can subtract out the 20. 20 minus 20 equals 0. Now I can stop because I have nothing left over and nothing more to bring down. So what I do now is I need to add my partial quotients together. 600 plus 30 plus 2. Again, that looks just like expanded form which would give us the answer 632, okay? And we know that that was how many times that she forgot. All right, let's move on to the second problem. In our next problem, we see that the Avengers were really busy over the weekend. 
Together, they saved a total of 4,808 lives in New York City after their arch nemesis poured 500 tons of grape gasoline into the Hudson River and threatened to ignite it. If they each saved the same number of people, how many people did each Avenger save? So we have another division problem, 4,808 divided by 8. So I'm going to start with my box again from our partial quotients. And again, I am thinking about these numbers. Now when I look at the 4,808, I see a 48. And I know that if I just look at that part, it would be like 4,800. Okay? And I'm thinking, how can I get to that? Oh, 8 times 6 equals 48. So 48 with two zeros at the end of it would mean 8 times 600 would give me that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the 600. Because 8 times 600 is going to equal 4,800. So I put that across the top. And then what am I left with after I subtract 4,808 minus 4,800? Well, I'm only left with 8. So now I'm thinking, how do I get to 8? 8 times what equals 8? Oh yeah, 8 times 1 equals 8. So then I would have 1 up top. So now my answer would be 600 plus 1, which would equal 601. So each of the Avengers saved 601 people. Just as in the previous problem, I am going to now set it up with this other variation of partial quotients. So now when I'm looking at the 48 at the beginning, again I'm thinking I can take out 8 times 600, which is 4,800. So I subtract that out, and I am left with only 8. And then 8 times what equals 8? 8 times 1. So I am going to subtract out 8, and I'd be left with 0. And I'm able to stop because there's nothing left over and nothing left to, um, to bring down. So now I would have 1 plus the 600. These would be my partial quotients. I would add those two together. 600 plus 1 equals 601. So my answer would be 601 people. Let's look at our next problem. In our third problem, you and four of your friends went to main event, and you won an impressive 645 tickets. You all agreed to share them equally. We're trying to figure out how many tickets will you receive. So for this problem, we are simply dividing 645 divided by 5. So I set my partial quotients up very similarly to how I set up my partial products. But now, I'm trying to figure out the numbers that are going to go across the top, because inside I'm going to have a total of 645. So I'm breaking my 645 up, and I know I can pull out 500. So 5 times what equals 500? 5 times 100 equals 500. So I'll put 100 across the top. And I'm going to add that to, okay, so I'm thinking 645. I took 500 out. I was left with 145 left. Ooh, there's 100 there. And then I'll have 45 in this box. So 5 times what equals 100? 5 times 20 equals 100. So I'll put 20 across the top. And then 5 times what equals 45? 5 times 9 equals 45. So I'll put 9 across the top. So now I'm left with 100 plus 20 plus 9, which that looks like the expanded form of 129. So I, you would get 129 tickets. Let's look at that same approach, just using the bar. Now using this approach, I am thinking to myself, I can take out a 500 from 645, and 500 is formed by 5 
times 100, and I'd be left with 145. From there, I can take out another 100, and 100 is formed by multiplying 5 times 20. Okay, and I subtract that out, and I'm left with 45, and then I'm thinking, how do I get to 45? Oh yeah, 5 times 9 equals 45, and I subtract that, 45 minus 45 equals 0, nothing left over, nothing that I needed to bring down, so my partial quotients would simply be 100 plus 20 plus 9, which looks like expanded form, for 129 tickets. I guess before I was writing it over here. <laughs> Same thing. In our last problem, we see that you've won a world record on the computer by typing an amazing 819 words in just three minutes. Wowzers! How many words did you type per minute? This is a division problem. We're dividing 819 by 3. So I set my problem up. I put my divisor on the outside of my box again. And now on the inside, I'm going to try and get to a total of 819. Well, I know I can pull out 300. And how do I get to 300? 3 times 100 equals 300. So I put 100 up top. And then I'd be left with 519. I can pull out another 300, and again, that is simply 3 times 100, and I'll put my 100 up top. Okay, and so now I've taken a total of 600 out, and I'm left with 219. So now I'm thinking about 219. Right at the beginning, I see a 21, which reminds me of 3 times 7 equals 21, and I could make that a 0, so then I have 210. So 3 times 7 equals 21, but 3 times 70 equals 210. So now I have 70 that I pulled out. And then finally, I'd be left with 9. 3 times what equals 9? Oh, yeah, 3 times 3. So then I'd put my 3 on the outside. So now look at this. This time, I don't just have expanded form, okay? But I have 100 plus 100 plus 70 plus 3. 100 plus 100 is 200, plus 70 is 270, plus 3 would be 273. So my final answer would be 273 words per minute. Just as in the previous examples, we're going to look at it in a longer form. So now I'm thinking, how many times does, or what can I pull out of 819? Well, I know I can pull out 300, just like I did before, and 300 is simply 3 times 100, and I'd be left with 519. I can pull out another 300, which again is 3 times 100, and I would be left with 219. From here, I can pull out 210, which is simply 3 times 70, and I would be left with 9. And my last step is to pull out 9 because uh, that's simply 3 times 3. And I'd be left with 0. So now my partial quotients would be 100 plus 100 plus 70 plus 3, which is 273 words per minute. So to wrap up this video, today we divided using partial quotients, okay? And when we did our partial quotients, we actually had something very similar to our partial products, but we worked backwards. And then we also showed how we could pull out those same numbers by stacking it up in a format that was similar to the old school division method, which we'll be learning more about in the days to come. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.